everybody, Jake here, and with me once again are my friends Dave and Jordan. So, this is a general analysis of the new Star Wars trailer, uh, which I'm pretty sure you all thought was pretty amazing, like I did. I hate Star Wars. You can get out of my house. Um, I thought it was, like, I don't know, it brings, brings hope, a new hope, back to the, oh, the nice. series. Yeah, thank you. Um, so I think, I don't know, that trailer, like you were saying, uh, before we started this, it, uh, well, I'll, I'll let you say it, because I think you'll word it much better than I did, or I will. Like, how, how it, like, says... There's a lot of drama so, in the room right now. <laughs> how it says so much with, like, Oh, so yes, much. yes, yes. How did I forget? Yeah. Yeah, well, I think the trailer just says so much in those 90 seconds. Yeah. Without, you know, saying anything at all. All you yeah. hear is the background narration by Andy Serkis. Which honestly, so, I didn't even realize the first time I watched yeah. it. Yeah, it even was him. Yeah, so much more action. credit to him. Yeah, just in those ninety seconds, you see, you know, it's like your you, favorite, your X wings, your oh Millennium yeah. Falcon. Yeah, that was you know, the best. The dark. He yeah. he says the dark side. Yeah, and, you know, you get the new saber. With I know the everybody's cross. excited about that. My favorite part was the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, the soaring across it's the out sky. In, and yeah. Then, Tatooine, yeah. I believe. Yeah. You get a I little hint of like, oh, they're in a fight. Yeah, yeah. a good old fashioned dog yeah. fight. Um, which, one thing that, like, uh, because, you know, obviously, like, as soon as that trailer hit the web, like, I think the two biggest things that the internet had the problem with was the Black Stormtrooper and the lightsaber, new lightsaber design, which, those now. yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna address that right now, because I feel like that needs Please to be, do. that needs to be, like, it's a, it's a really hot, uh, topic right now. It's a hot like, topic, I'm yeah, getting very yeah. hot yeah, we're, we're very hot about this right now. <laughs> um, but basically... <laughs> But basically, like, I think it's really stupid that they're complaining about two, those two things. Um, I'll do the lightsaber first. They're the things I knew they were complaining about. Well, like, okay, first off, the lightsaber, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, it's impractical. Okay, first off, it's a cross guard. That is actually pr uh, practical. Swords have that to help prevent your fingers and hands getting chopped off. And a lot of people mm -hmm. are like, well, it has that, you know, it's got that little, um, I guess, part of the hilt that kind of comes out. Stephen and then Colbert the, went through a whole thing of, like, proving why it works. So. Yeah, but also it's like, okay, first off... Just, just watch that. <laughs> you know, there, there are, you know, a handful of, uh, like, metals and other uh, material that lightsabers cannot cut through. So, for one, let's just say that the hilt of that lightsaber is one of those materials. So, it can't chop There's through that cross guard. Yeah. Bam. Practical. Another theory is it's not actually a cross guard at all, but it's actually exhaust to help stabilize the lightsaber because... The Sith or the crystals that the Sith use for their lightsabers are very unstable. So if you have exhaust, help stabilize like that it. Theory a lot. Makes sense. Otherwise, you know, it could go haywire and kill yourself, or you know, blow your hand off, or something like that. I don't know the mechanics of that. Yeah, that I force. mean, I think yeah. they're both good theories. But you've got we've got a whole gear before this movie comes out, so you're <laughs> yeah. gonna see everything yeah. possible. Um, People are just gonna just think of anything they can yeah. to make sense of this. And Which, I actually like it. Yeah, yeah. I like I like the way it looks. Honestly, like. and to be controversial for the sake of the podcast, the first time I saw it, I thought it was kind of dumb. You can shut <laughs> your poor mouth. I Get thought out. it was. I thought it was badass. I liked it better when we just watched it before you hit record. Anyway, it's grown on me. I'll say. Yeah. It, but I don't know. And I wasn't upset for like technical reasons. Yeah. I just didn't like the look of it all that much. But I, it's I don't know. I think me. it's. Kind of, you know how episode one did the Dual double blade, said, yeah. you know, with Darth Maul. I think this is kind of no, their thing. It was my kind of thought. It was like, oh, they're doing just to be different but, again. Yeah. But, you know, it's no. been 30 years yeah. since Return of the Jedi. So yeah. you could see where lightsabers might have evolved. Yeah. Or it's well, not just never, your yeah. classical. There's, there's also never that big an issue for me. But. There's also a theory, though, that like it's actually an older design of lightsaber. And again, mm -hmm. that's where the exhausts come in is, you know, before they, I guess, perfected the... The hilt technology is again that was to help stabilize the blade. Otherwise, I guess potentially it could just kind of go haywire, and that would be more of a whip than an actual like you know blade. Yeah, I would say that's a pretty good theory. Yeah, because that comes out afterwards. Yeah, I'm going with that. Yeah, I think that's. So, I, mean, I just like that in general, and you know, like it just said that. Yeah. It's exactly how an exhaust would work. Yeah, and again, like you know, regardless whether it is a cross guard or exhaust, either way, I think it works. It's practical, um, and then. The thing that, uh, you know, again, the black stormtrooper, first off, we don't even know if he's a stormtrooper. <laughs> he could be, like, infiltrating this, you know, the stormtrooper. It could be, you know, like Luke and Han in yeah. episode true. four. Where yeah. Uh, and he looked kind of panicked. Uh, you know, I, I can't imagine well-trained stormtroopers. You know, I, I, I would like to think, because they're a branch of military, 
in most military, you, you kind of have to, you know, keep a level head. It's about, you know... Um, but, uh, you know, let's just say, for example, though... Train. But, um, you know, like, let's just say, for example, he is a stormtrooper. You know, if you're... Uh, like... If, if you're even a more, like, more of a casual fan of Star Wars, you know by episodes 4, 5, and 6, they're not even clones anymore, because the genetic material started yeah, to break down. Yeah, they no, a short life No Commander span. Cody? What? Yeah, no Commander Cody. <laughs> I love Cody. Um, so basically it's like, you know, they actually had to fill the ranks with actual people. Yeah. So, it could very well be a black stormtrooper. So if you have a problem with it, you're just racist, so shut up. Um, <laughs> can, so, we, can we address the first two people you see in this trailer as a black guy and a girl? Yeah. Who would have thought? Back in 1977, when A New Hope was released. Yeah. Just shows how Certainly far the world George has Lucas. come. Oh, yeah. Who hasn't seen the trailer yet? Yeah. Really? Yeah. He's George waiting Lucas. for the movie. Yeah. Is he a bitter old man or what? <laughs> is he a bitter yeah. old man or is he just is let it go? I can see both. Yeah. Uh, actually. Because, I mean, in a way, like, I would kind of get that because, you know, a lot of people I mean, blame him tons for... tons of money. Yeah. Off just, yeah. off just selling the rights. Not, yeah. You know, not to mention all the merchandising and... Yeah, because he, you know, he had millions upon millions he's made since its release. Yeah, um, but I mean, you know, I, I kind of get like where he could be, maybe a little, maybe not like cynical or bitter, but just kind of like I don't know. You know this isn't of, my project. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I guess um, I'll watch it eventually. Because you, know, you know, a lot of people do kind of blame him for some of the mistakes that have been made in Star Wars. Um, but in the end, he gave us Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, so it's kind of you know, it is that. So I can't be that mad. Yeah. Um, I feel like it almost is kind of like any, you know, going back to comics. It's kind of like any creator that, you know, like Jerry Siegel and, uh, you know, Joe Schuster created Superman. Yeah. Sort the, of this, you know. Bob Kane for Batman. Yeah. I mean, I can't really think of anything else besides that. It's like such a big cultural thing that people created. But then other people are yeah. withstanding, you know, all Stan Lee's characters. So many, of, he created them. So many other people have. Essentially you know, perfected them and made them better. Yeah. Um, so I feel like it's kind of the same way. Well, I think that's actually one thing instance, that uh, helps Star Trek, though, is, uh, like, you know, after a while, Gene Roddenberry, like... After he died. And, yeah, like, pretty much, the you know, he gave the rights, and, you know, a lot of people, like, you know, from what I've, you know, from what I've been told of, like, some of this novels and, you know, spinoffs and stuff like that have actually, you know, the storyline and stuff like that have actually improved. Uh, so I think it is one of those things where, like, I, f- I feel like it was a perfect time to just kind of, like, you know... Hand it down to somebody else. Be like, all right, you know, I've, I've done my thing with you know my creation. Now I'm gonna let somebody else take over, mm-hmm. take the helm, and new generation. Yeah, do yeah, their imagine, thing with yeah, it. I imagine it'd be kind of cool to see that too. Yeah. So I mean, you've invested so much time in that, that people are obviously such a big fan of and so passionate about, and see, yeah. you know, see that through somebody else's lens. Um, and really, I mean, really, all this movie has to do is just top the original trilogy, which. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, I mean, I like the original trilogy, or the I mean, prequel trilogy. Yeah, right? yeah, I was <laughs> about to say, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. slow well, down, I mean, if, back it up. If yeah. somehow it could. I, That'd be, you know, that would be amazing, but... Who would complain? But, yeah, but... You know, that's what Anthony Daniels, C-3PO, actually said, that yeah. this movie could be better. We'll I, see. It, it's a very bold statement. Well, yeah. I mean, it is it is a bit I'm more... actor in a movie I think we can all, his movie. I think we can all agree it'll be better than the prequel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's that's kind of like I don't I know hope why. So. I don't know why I said the original trilogy, but yeah. Can't say for uh, sure. Well, I mean, it's you know, again the way it's numbered. Just based weird, off that I ninety seconds, yeah. I would just. I, the, I mean, again, I like the the prequel trilogy is fun. I mean, yeah, I'm there's glad some, they came out when I was younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I watched them now. No, probably yeah. wouldn't be that great of a reaction. Or yeah, because I actually rewatched the first film with my family um, shortly after we watched the trailer, actually, mm-hmm. um, and I was like. Hmm. Some parts cool, some yeah. parts meh. Like I, 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 you Dark know. Wall way underused. Yeah. And there's an obvious part where you see that him finish his makeup. Yeah. Which is weird. What scene was that? I think it's when he's, uh, I think he's in the desert. Oh, like when out. they're, okay, yeah. The before he fights, uh, yeah. yeah. qui Yeah, yeah, when they're on Tantan. The night before, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you know, again, like, they're, they serve their purpose. Um, yeah. So I think, like, you know, so long as this movie can top the, the prequel trilogy, everyone's going to be content. Like, the older generation, because, you know, some of the older generation, like, the prequel trilogy, oh, they that's... can't stand that's like their, watch it. Yeah, that's like their Vietnam. It's They're just kind of like, nope, di- didn't happen. None of it happened. Um, it's like, I fought in Vietnam. Yeah. And came back for this. It's like, I fought in the Clone Wars, man. I've seen the battle some... Geonosis. <laughs> I've seen some stuff, man. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, so I think, like, it, it shows, you know, again, a new hope that, you know... Yes. 
this this new uh, film will kind of bring it back to its former glory. You know, glory. The Force Awakens. Yeah, exactly. Which at first, when I first read it, I thought it sounded like a video game yeah. title. Yeah. I wasn't not to say I'm, not to say I'm not. It didn't bother me that much. Against the title, I yeah. like the title. It oh, yeah, fits. Yeah. It's, you know, straightforward in your face. You know, Force Awakens. Yeah. They all were really. Yeah. Pretty straightforward title. Yeah. That one more, more specifically did sound. It like didn't a video have as game, much. Backlash is when the Phantom Menace title was revealed. In, yeah, I guess nineteen ninety eight. Mm-hmm. So, so far so good. It's I think it's gotten good reception overall. Yeah. Uh, granted, there's been a lot of like parodies of it, like there's the oh, George yeah. Lucas edit, yeah. which I thought that was actually pretty funny, where they just added a bunch of random CGI yeah. scenes in there. Just because, um, yeah, because I mean, it's like, yeah, that's that's, that's probably what George what do. does when he goes <laughs> back. And, yeah. What can I add here? Let's just have some tauntauns in the background. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's have Han Solo step on Jabba's tail yeah. while he's talking. Just, you know, random stuff like that. Um, there's been, like, you know, tons of things where, like, you know, when the uh, Sith pulls out his lightsaber, it turns into, like, a Swiss Army knife and, like, yeah. a tennis racket. <laughs> Those are pretty cool, but, uh, yeah, yeah, again, I, I think this, this again, the 90-second trailer, teaser, not even a full trailer, yeah. Yeah. again, uh, shows a lot of promise. It for, definitely it was does. a tease. Yeah. It leaves you wanting more, you know. We've still got a year before this yeah. even comes out. And probably like, you know, another f- like six months or so until oh, like yeah, a full, just, yeah, the full full trailer comes out and then And they're still playing down low. You really don't know who's what. Yeah. Like you like they've it seems like they still keep announcing like cast members and stuff like that. It's like, oh, so and so is playing this yeah. person. And you're like I mean what we what? do know is the people that are returning. Yeah. But they're not gonna be as they were in bi- the yeah they're yeah. not they're not gonna be as big of a role. It's gonna yeah. kind of be a back seat. You know they're kind of overlooking. Yeah, and yeah. again, I think more it's about their offspring. Yeah, yeah. And just kind of handing uh, handing down the torch to Obi-Wan the one type role. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would think he would be. Although I have heard, I don't really believe this, but I've heard some people say that Sith was Luke. Hmm. I don't agree with it, but I, I've heard a few people yeah. mention that. I don't know that Mark Hamill would have gotten back into that good shape. <laughs> yeah. CGI, man. <laughs> um, That's true. I was impressed with Kevin and I. Yeah. But then that Chris Evans. That's but I think fine. people were just wanting to, you know, they've got to say something. And yeah. Because people, like, just like your lightsaber theory, people mm-hmm. just keep searching for answers. Yeah. When they're not getting One of them to will us. be right. Yeah. Because I think in some of the expanded universe, he is yeah. bad for a while. I guess that's where they get it from. Also, I think that design of lightsaber is in the expanded universe. Like that's like it's not like an uncommon thing yeah, knew, to have. Different... I knew they were going to take a few elements from the I think expanded actually universe, like... but they weren't going to make you know this movie yeah. from the books. They might take a few ideas here and there that yeah. JJ liked. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think there actually are like essentially lightsaber whips. I don't know how that works exactly, but you know, again, it just goes to show you that yeah. like you know, regardless of what you see in this trailer. That I'm, I can, you know, there's a good chance that it is actually canon if you delve further enough into the expanded universe, which hopefully they'll do in this new, you know, generation because yeah, there, there's a lot like, that the Star Wars universe so has much. to offer. Uh, they could easily delve into like, you know, the origins of the Sith or even the origins of the Jedi or you know the Mandalorians and just all this stuff. Yeah, in, especially with you know, even with their kids. Yeah. And stuff. Man, I think. When they do show the Sith in that trailer, I assume it's Adam Driver. Yeah. Who's been rumored to play. Yeah, he's supposed to be the big bad. Yeah, the bad guy. Yeah. Which I don't, haven't really seen him in anything, so. Yeah, neither have I. Well, like, I, I mean, s- most that's the thing I kind of like about this yeah. this new, you know, trilogy. It's don't know a lot do. of, it's some actors that have done some yeah. good things, but they're not huge names. Yeah. Kind of like they did with the original trilogy. Yeah. Because, you know, they started all, yeah. everyone's big now, but Yeah. Back then, yeah, I, so was, was, you know, like uh, Alec Guinness was famous yeah. Yeah, actor at the time. You know, he comes in. Mm-hmm. Well, respect, yeah. And so I guess sort of like a Harrison respect, Ford right yeah. now, kinda Mark get, Hamill yeah, now. To kind yeah. of give it some uh, more credibility, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, you know, yeah. I guess the one I'm probably most familiar with, like it's Andy Serkis, I'm fairly yeah. familiar with. But yeah. uh, Oscar Isaac was in, uh, was that folk thing? nominated for much Oscars the uh, Inside Lewin Davis which I thought he was pretty good in that the movie was a little boring I don't think I've heard of that movie he was pretty good. yeah it's kind of like the 60s folk or like pre-Bob Dylan hmm. Greenwich Village folk scene hmm. about this you know, struggling artist uh, yeah 
Yeah, I mean, they've, with a cat. I'm looking at some of the cast right now. And, you yeah, know, you got guys 22 years old, John yeah. Boyega. I believe that's how you say it. He's yeah. 22 years old right now. And then Again, I've heard of a lot Daisy of them. Yeah. I've seen a ton of them. Daisy Ridley's like 21 or 22. I believe she's probably the girl in the trailer. The, the like the hover or yeah. the speeder bike or whatever yeah. you want to call it. Sort them. of like yeah, from sure Return of the Jedi. Somewhere, yeah. somewhere I, could I, confirm that. I believe that. that's her. Then, as Dave said, Oscar Isaac, Andy Serkis. So I'm, I'm kind of curious as to like what Andy Serkis' role, because you know, a lot of people laugh sure automatically. I'm not sure how big it'll be. Because yeah. I've heard it like he's not a very big character, but it's a very pivotal character. Um, Can I see that just from the voiceover? Yeah. Because yeah. uh, I think like as soon as he was announced as like a cast member, a lot of people speculated he'd be like some kind of you know CGI yeah. monster or something like that. Because that's you know what he specializes what is, yeah, in is the motion capture. Um, but I, I mean, he's he's a really good actor. Like he could easily do you know like you know he could be like the new I guess Sith yeah. master. Well. Uh, which I think would actually be really cool to kind of see him as like a different, you know, different range. Yeah, a see yeah. sort of like a Palpatine esque. Yeah, I mean, he definitely had that kind of like menacing voice, like when you see the uh, like. Yeah, I yeah, just very, love how it starts could, out. You yeah, know, there's been an awakening. Yeah, I could definitely see him being the more Palpatine role then. Mm-hmm. With Adam Driver, the younger yeah, Sith, being, who's yeah. being there's trained. Always two. Yeah, so, you know, he's mm-hmm. they probably give. I don't know if they'll do it in this movie. I'm sure they will. You know his backstory and then yeah. how he converted to the dark side. Yeah. Um, but also, like I was um, kind of related, uh, potentially maybe. Um, I was talking to a coworker last night. Um, we were actually discussing um, the the trailer and everything like that, and just kind of like what we're expecting to see. And um, he brought up the fact that like uh, they're the the gray Jedi's. There are three gray Jedi, which basically they're like. I guess kind of in between Sith and you know the the typical Jedi, the three being of course Qui Gon because he could have easily been on the Jedi Council. Like I think they yes. even addressed that in Episode One, but he didn't always follow the rules to the like their specifications. So he is a bit of a rebel. Man. Yeah, like I think he was. So I guess technically he wasn't. I don't know what. Still more on the lights. Yeah, sure. uh, but I guess it was the fact that like he still didn't. Quite follow to the, you know. I don't think he was into the politics of it all. Yeah, like I think that was his main thing. And then uh, Mace Windu was another one of the great, because uh, he was, you know, again, with a purple lightsaber, that, that style is like yeah. borderline Sith. You're very aggressive. Um, and in episode three, when they basically come to arrest Palpatine, he wanted to kill him, which would have been a smarter right? <laughs> Just kill him, be done with it, and be like. He gave him way too many chances yeah. in that scene. Yeah, Boba Fett should have come in and killed him. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, you know, it was, it, you know, yeah, it's like, if I was Mace Windu, yeah, I would have been like, look, Jedi Council, sure, that's a little dark, but he's do- he's dead. He's gone. I did it. Problem solved. <laughs> um, and then uh, Luke was the other one, because uh, in episode uh, six, like when he was fighting Darth Vader, pretty much gave in to, like, his rage. It just was wailing on yeah, Darth he Vader. Kept going at him. Uh, which was, you know, could you could argue that's how he defeated him. Um because, you know, again, he just wailed on him, chopped his other hand off, and then basically he could have finished him off, but then I guess he finally was like, okay, enough of this. Uh, let's let's go back to the light side, try and bring my father back. Um, so I think that's kind of a cool element that they could you know incorporate as well, that kind of in-between, that gray area, which yeah. I think is where the title comes from. Also, you know, Jedis aren't supposed to love, right? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, maybe Mace Windu and Qui-Gon were... <laughs> <laughs> having some love on the side. Yeah, you know, yeah, you, did you, you guys know. pick up in episode one? Uh, Qui Gon yeah. and Shmi, little attraction right oh, there. Yeah. You know, asking who Not his sure father was. Talk so. about the obvious homosexual overtones of. No. Maybe that's just you. Yeah. That's just you and your <laughs> Bruce Dickinson man crush. Probably. <laughs> All of your gay fantasies. We'll get to that podcast eventually. <laughs> Sophomore Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Stay those tuned. Are, those are the days. <laughs> And of course, Mace Windu, you know, he wants some loving. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, he's Shaft, he's, he's yeah. every cool character you want to be. And then, then oh, yeah. he went off to go fight with the superheroes. Yeah. So it's got to be hard not to not to love if you're a Jedi. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like I would be like that. I mean, you know, I, I, following all the rules, it's like, yeah, it's boring. You got to break the rules yeah. a little bit. Break but I wouldn't off. go as far as, like, Sith and kill, like, younglings Jesus or whatever. Priest. Yeah. I would just, I'd kind of be like... You know, in between, it's like, eh, I'll, I'll go fight with you guys, I guess, but 
Yeah, kind of like Qui Gon stance. Yeah, it's the basis. best for everything. Yeah, just kind of like stay out of the politics. Like you know, do what needs to be done. But yeah, that that that's yeah, a, this is definitely hmm. wrong. I'm gonna fight against that. But, yeah. And if it's just some political BS, it's, yeah, yeah, you gotta do what's I don't right. Really care about that. And if Qui Gon feels like he's doing what's right, even if the council doesn't agree, more yeah. power to him. I feel like that was kind of like maybe part of the reason for the you know the don't the downfall of the Jedi uh, Order is. They, they, I guess they kind of got too involved in, like, the politics. Because um, even though they were basically a peacekeeping organization, yeah. it was kind of like, you know, if the Senate was like, oh, hey, Jedi, there's a war going on. We need you guys to step in and, you know, kick a bunch of ass. Uh, <laughs> peacefully, of course. Like, yeah, try to yeah. negotiate. But we all know negotiations will fail. That's when you whip out the lightsabers. Or this party's over. Yeah. And you, you know, you send the message that, you know, cut it out. And I think that people... Some people's problems with the prequels, there's too much politics in it. Yeah, uh, which, you know, what the, I, I get that. Uh, especially with Palpatine, you kind of had to establish him as, yeah. you know, the fact that he was, like, the greatest, like, double agent in, like, cinematic history. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I feel like that would have worked a lot better, though, if you hadn't known he was, you know, Sidious. Uh, oh, it would have been the, great or, yeah. plot twist. Because, like, you know, the whole time you're this like, okay. old, wrinkly dude. Guy. Yeah. Oh, I'm turned out to be the Sith. Yeah. Because it's just like, you know, you're you, all scared. But I mean, yeah. even even when you are watching the prequel trilogy, you know he's Sidious, but he's just so believable. You're like, you know, maybe, maybe he started off good, and then he kind of went, no, he was he was bad. Because even, like, like, if you rewatch, you know, episode one, like his first encounters with Anakin, mm-hmm. you can see that that look in his eye. Yeah, like, he's like, oh. I'm getting ready to turn this guy. Yeah. And it's like one of these days. Everything's that guy. going as planned. Oh, yeah. And the fact that, you know, again, he manipulated, like, the Separatists. Because, like, I feel like the prequel trilogy made the Separatists out to be villains when, in actuality, they weren't really villains. They just, they, they didn't want to be a part of the Empire anymore. Um, and, you know, he basically just manipulated everything. It's just like, oh, yeah, go go fight the Separatists. They're bad. They they want to secede. What's wrong with them? He, you know, he kind of sat in that chair he had and yeah. just watched everything unfold. Yeah, just kept, like, the, you know, the whole feud between the Separatists and, like, you know, the Republic while he's just pulling the strings, like... There really know? wasn't a, f- there wasn't a whole lot of setbacks for him. No, there really wasn't. Like again, that man I mean, was Darth a master. Maul lo- lost. Yeah, but it's like, eh, I can get a new yeah, one. Yeah, you get yeah, a new yeah. one. But I think, I'm just glad you know you're not gonna see Count Dooku's little bent. Oh yeah. You no, know, he can't get it out. <laughs> it's probably because he's so old, I guess. Right. Oh, I do no, like. I mean, uh, yeah, he was in his what late seventies, early eighties at that point. Yeah, I mean that. He's yeah. already crooked. Yeah. I, I do like the design of his hilt, though. Because, um, you know, again, like at the time, you know, you just know the standard, like, style of... Uh, yeah, that really was the only, you know, kind of different thing. I mean, you know, again... I mean, Darth Maul's like, was kind of a lateral move. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know, I just, just thought it was kind of cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. Even if it's it didn't... Like, well, yeah, you kind of expect that. Like, what if it came out the other end? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, I feel like the Sith kind of... That's like their signature thing to have a different style of. Yeah, that's why I don't. You know, to get back to the trailer, I don't think it's all that crazy. Yeah. For like, that, you know, cross saber or whatever. And again, it's like you know, even, and let's just say even so if settle it isn't. down, people. Yeah, even if it isn't practical. Settle down, Dave. Um, Sorry. Even if it isn't practical, Dave, and same thing with the Black Stormtrooper. Even if it's not practical. It's the fact that it's a science fiction fantasy Black series. Black Stormtrooper is not practical. I don't He'll like. Probably get his own series <laughs> off that. Five Again, like the internet was them. just exploding about Probably. that stuff. I mean, TNT and um, but I mean, like, all those uh, networks, yeah. the, the, I guess the thing that like kind of pisses me off is like you know they were complaining about like the design of the lightsaber. It's like, okay, this is science fiction. It is fantasy. You accept the fact that there are many chlorians in these people's bodies that allow them to use the force, and they have you know use beams of beams. It's like they have all this crazy technology, but a cross guard lightsaber. You're like, nope, no, nope, I don't accept that. And that scene just looks awesome. He's just, yeah. you know, he's walking with force. He's in the out in the woods in the dark somewhere. You know, he probably gets a an urge or a hunch. And, yeah. You know, just lets it go. Yeah. So he's it's probably like, about to kill some people. Probably in like a total badass Sith way. Yes. But yeah, I, th- I think we covered a lot of good ground here. Uh, More than I thought. Yeah. For a 90 second trailer. Yeah, for a 90 second trailer. This is going yeah, on like... But it is Star Wars, Wars so yeah. it can go on for Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could, we could easily go, probably do like a feature length film. Fl- uh, length of yeah, talking about next idea, huh? Next idea, yeah, because that's what people want. Oh yeah, like a two and a half hour podcast. <laughs> yeah, hey, if you don't have a life, yeah, if, yeah, you're, I mean, if you're you able know. to just put it on at work, you know, 
That's what we recommend. Yeah, for definitely. All you. Yeah, if you're at work and you're bored, you know, ladies and out there. Stuff, yeah. yeah. Whether you're at your desk, you know, instead of throwing on the radio. Or if your boss is chewing you out, just like add insult to injury. It's like I don't care. I'm gonna watch a podcast. Yeah, if you got more of a physical job or something, you can you know put your headphones in. And yeah. Shake it all about. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I think we'll I think we'll uh, close this one up. Any closing statements or anything you'd like to further uh, add to this gentleman? After this podcast, Dave, do you like the trailer more? Yeah. Well, that wasn't convincing. I'd say <laughs> I want to hear less after good. this podcast, but upon a second watching, okay. yes. Then, then I'm good. Yeah. I just I want you to be happy. Yeah. Because That's Jake and I, we're happy with this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Like, again, I've, I've watched the trailer multiple times. Yes. It's like every time it's like, oh, my yeah, God. Plus, you find it is, more yeah, things. It yeah. is the most excited things. I've been about it. Yeah. Because there's been all this talk about it, and I'm just like, mm, all right, all right. Such a buzz around it. Yeah. And then, yeah, I'm buying and then it. I actually oh, yeah. finally see it. It's probably the most excited I've been about it so far. Yeah. Like, I mean, I was always already pretty pretty in for, like, yeah, you was, know, the, the long haul. But then after I saw that teaser, I was like, yep, you're, I'm sold. It's like, I've. You know, I mean, I would, I would see it regardless, even if the trailer looked horrible, because oh, I like Star Wars. Yeah, but it's my favorite. Yeah. So. Again, after that trailer, I'm just like, all right, I think this has potential to bring it back to its I'm former excited. glory. I'm excited. That's what I'll end yeah. with. I'm excited. Yeah. So, hopefully, you know, in a year's time when the movie comes out, we'll get back together and discuss this, and hopefully, Dave, review. hopefully you'll still be. Listening. Hopefully, we'll have sponsorships by then. Where that would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. Anybody who wants to New Year's anything, resolution. Yeah, New Year's resolution. I want at least two more subscribers. <laughs> or one. One sponsorship. Really. <laughs> tell, one your friends, <laughs> tell your friends. Tell your friends. Even if yeah. it's your little brother's lemonade stand. I'll take it. That's and just, you know, extra, extra revenue to add to the amazing production quality that I yes. instill in all my videos. Lotus Watch out, like JJ. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming for you. I'm going to direct the new Star Wars after this one. With the way my yeah, channel's episode going. Episode 8. <laughs> Not like the next trilogy, just yeah. episode 8. Yeah. It's I'll watch it. I'll, I'll work on the story, and then I'll, I'll keep you guys updated, but yeah. yeah sounds that's, good. Yeah, we'll post drafts of the script. And... Yeah. But yeah, I think, uh, again, I think we covered a lot of good ground, and uh, until next time, everybody, cheers.